Okay, so we had a question about this uh, particular item here. Uh, this question has an endpoint at the of a line is at eight negative one. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these points right here. So eight negative one, and then it has another point. The point five negative two is one third of the way from that endpoint to the other endpoint. Find the other endpoint. So we have, let's see, I want to say that this is uh, going to be point five, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two. So it's going in this direction somewhere. Now, the way I read this is one third of the, of the uh, distance. Now, if you take the distance of X, that's, one, that's gonna be one third of the entire distance from wherever we're going. Then we have the distance in Y, and this is one third of the distance that we're going down. So we, in order to go ahead and find that point, we need to find out how much distance we have to go away from this point, this direction. So we have, let's see, three and one. So a distance of one. So one unit down and three units to the left. So now we have to figure out how we're gonna go ahead and do that. So one of the things that I noticed that this is two thirds of that distance. Okay, so we need to think about how we're going to undo that. I had it real quick, let me see. Two thirds and now that one third. Okay, so we have one third. So we're gonna take one, uh, three and divide that by one third. That undoes what they did when they took the distance and they multiplied that by three. So that means nine units. So that means that the total X direction, the total amount from X that we're gonna go is nine units to the left because originally they went only three units to the left and that's one third of the entire distance. Now, when you take three divided by one third, which if you go ahead and take three divided by parentheses one divided by three, it gives you nine, nine units. So nine units away from this point. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that brings us to negative one. So part of the coordinates are negative one. Now we just need the other coordinates. So let's see. We do the same thing. So we have this one. And then we divide that by, well, it's negative one, divided by, or no, it's just the direction, the distance. There's no such thing as anything negative in distance. But we divide that by one third, and that's going to be equal to three units down. So we do one, two, three. So that gives me the coordinates negative one, four. Okay, and so that's how you're supposed to do it. Any questions, any comments, you can go ahead and email me back. So my coordinate of this thing is negative one, four. All right, see ya.